The question asks us to find the domain of the square root of 2x minus 3. We start by recognizing or remembering that it's illegal to take the even root of a negative number. So that means you cannot find the square root, 4th root, 6th root, 8th root, and so on. If the index is even, you cannot find the even root of a negative number. So it's illegal to find the square root of negative 4. It's illegal to find the fourth root of negative 16. So if we start with this, we notice that 2x minus 3, the radicand, the thing inside the radical, either has to be 0 or it has to be positive. It can't be negative, so the two scenarios that are left for us are it might be 0 or it's allowed to be positive, but it most certainly can't be negative. Now, easiest way to do this is to solve the inequality 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. If it's equal to 0, that takes care of this case. If it's greater than 0, we know that it must be positive, and that takes care of the second case. This inequality should be relatively pain-free. We can add the 3 to the other side and get 2x is greater than or equal to 0 plus 3, or just 3. At this stage, we can divide both sides by 2, or divide the 2 over to the other side, and that gives us x is greater than or equal to 3 halves. Remember, when you're solving inequalities, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to change the direction of the inequality. But in this case, the 2 was a positive, so when I divided it over to the other side, the inequality stays the same. To avoid making a mistake, we can graph our result. So we put 3 over 2 on the number line, and we know that, it, that we can plug in 3 halves into this function. If I were to plug 3 halves in here, the 2s would cancel. You would be left over with 3 minus 3, which is 0, and I can find the square root of 0. It's just the negative numbers that give me problems. So square root of 0 is perfectly fine, and that's why we include indicated by the solid dot, the number 3 halves. Now we need to figure out, well, which numbers are included in the domain? Are there numbers to the left of 3 halves, or are there numbers to the right of 3 halves? So first, we try numbers to the right, and I jumped the gun here, but I know for a fact that they're going to work. Let's pick a number, say, 5. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. I can find the square root of 7, it's a positive number. Now let's say we pick a number to the left here, say 0. 2 times 0 would be 0, 0 minus 3 would be a negative 3. I cannot find the square root of a negative number. So that's why I put a cross over that region. Now once we have our graph of the interval, we should be able to write it down looking at the graph again from left to right. So our interval starts with negative 3 halves. We put a square bracket here because negative, th I'm sorry, positive 3 halves. We put a square bracket here because 3 halves is included in the domain. And then we go all the way to infinity, which gets parentheses. And that's it.